In boxing, much like the rest of the world, 2021 started with questions, but ended with answers. In Fetacon. Plan goes down! High drop on round 11! In the Dramatic Con. A monstrous shot! Turn everybody out, man, and get to your zone. From historic nights to unforgettable fights. Past legends on the comeback trail. It's over! History has been made! And new champions building their legacies. The spectacle returned, as did the fans, who crowded back into packed arenas and screaming and celebrating a year in boxing that was laced with more energy. And produced more thrills than any year in a long, long time. Benavidez lighting up Davis here in the sixth. And when the scene returned, the fight game regained what 2020 had inevitably stolen, its full aura and even more resilience. Oh, and there's Ooh. that left hook by Toma. Mayweather. Do it, race it! Do it, race it! Now Charlo setting down and marching forward. Come on, baby, come on. He biting. He know we can touch him now. He know what time it is. You wanted a statement? He just made one. I'm Brian Custer. This is the best of Showtime Boxing 2021. A new year began much like the previous one had ended. Inside a never before built space at the Mohican Sun Arena in Connecticut that had been constructed to counter COVID-19. Known as the Fight Sphere, the innovative, makeshift and international stage played host to four additional cards wrapping up one of sport's most distinct time periods, the boxing inside a bubble era. Two undefeated fighters, both in their prime. In Showtime's first championship boxing event of the new year, body battering specialist Angela Leo attempted to kick 2021 off with a bang. Wow, nice left hook to the body by Leo. There, Fulton got bothered with that right hand. But it was Philly phenom Stephen Fulton Jr. who imposed his will. Oh, right hand by Fulton. Using Leo's signature style to seize the WBO Junior Featherweight crown on January 23rd. Oh, what a right uppercut. And Leo's still standing. So he had to grind like that to shine like this. And the new WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, cool boy, Steph Stephen Fulton Jr. The theme of Expect the Unexpected continued on February 20th, when former world champion Adrian Brona returned to the ring for the first time in over two years. Santiago definitely not being swallowed up, bringing the fight to the problem. Giovanni Santiago provided a more difficult test than anticipated. But Broner still picked up the W, proving that a boxer known as the problem can solve issues that arise too. Throughout his rapid, unbeaten ascendance, super middleweight contender David Benavidez has proven that no matter how many obstacles he must confront outside the ring, inside it is where he does his best work. When Benavidez gets cooking, it's like fighting an octopus. More proof came in March with his systematic, thorough destruction of veteran tough guy Ronald Ellis. Oh, what a left hook to the body. Well, Ellis is still fighting back. Right uppercut, another uppercut, another uppercut, and now David Benavides pouring it on. And that's it. The winner, David Benavides. Jerron Ennis, known as Boots, entered the year ranked among boxing's most exciting prospects. He is knocking on the door of some major fights, but has to get past this major test. After his dismantling of Sergey Lipinet slapped an exclamation point on the end of Showtime's bubble boxing, Boots graduated from his status as future contender to an actual one, ready to summon boxing's top welterweights. Oh, and Ennis with the left hand drops. Lipinet, no doubt about this one. Jerron Boots Ennis passes his biggest test in flying colors. Eventually, it was time to take off the bubble wrap and welcome back crowds so that fights could feel like they're supposed to. Yeah, I know what it is. 
rabid, theatric, major event. That way, Showtime could present a semblance of normalcy. Normal in this case, relative to a sport that is anything but. The Showtime Summer Tour of 2021 can be described in only one word, big. Big stages, big fights, big states, and ultimately the attention to match. Five fans old and new scanned their tickets and settled into so many seats. In total, nine cards, six cities, seven world championship bouts, and a staggering 13 belts up for grabs. Showtime, baby. Of course, the wild ride started with the most familiar face in boxing, the champion who calls himself the best ever, or TBE. Representing past generations, here came Floyd Mayweather. The clash with the next one, the one that sought to energize boxing. It's an exhibition for me. Well, you really want to take them both on at the same night? Both Absolutely, this? easy. Hey, you yeah, I wouldn't run to. Run Absolutely. You want to run it? Absolutely. Hey, let me call y'all. Hey, I'm man, my let's own make boss. it happen. I'm my own boss. One night. Got your hat. Oh. <laughs> no night defined a changing landscape more than June 6th when money may push Pauls on retirement to face Logan Paul. Celebrities flocked to Miami for an event the term exhibition failed to fully capture. To watch a bombacious boxer take on a YouTube sensation for no more than bragging rights and a few million dollars. Logan Paul playing with fire. Oh, and Ooh. there's that left hook by oh Mayweather. Wow. Oh. And a counter right uppercut wow. lands. And I got to say, Logan Paul is eating these shots. 30 seconds remaining between one of the all-time greats, Floyd Money Mayweather, and a guy who's famous for being famous. Well, as this bout goes the distance, Floyd Money Mayweather, Logan the Maverick Paul. I'm not 21 anymore, but it's good to move around with these young guys, test my skills, just to have some fun. Great young fighter, strong, tough. He's better than I thought he was. Not to be outdone by his mentor, Gervonta Davis elected to take on a much larger opponent in his 2021 debut. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the bout you've all been waiting for, the WBA Super Lightweight Championship of the World. It's time for Davis versus Barrio. On an electric night in Atlanta, Tank plowed through a game Aztec Warrior and Mario Barrios, becoming a champion in the third division, the same way he did in the other two, via a spectacular knockout. Round number eight.
after the Charlo brothers made history by holding twin pay-per-view cards on the same glorious night in 2020, they followed that up this year by reminding the boxing world of their distinct and dominant individual skills. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the current undefeated WBC middleweight champion of the world, Jermall. Jamal went first, defending his middleweight crown with a decisive drubbing of Juan Montiel. Charlo works behind the jab. There's a right hand. Oh, and there's a one-two. Charlo beginning to put on the pressure now. And Montiel on inline skates momentarily. And he's been corralled in the corner. Charlo unloading on the challenger. Montiel with the high guard. We don't need to rush. Take your time. You got it where you want him now, OK? Oh, the right hand that landed for Charlo. Now Montiel on the ropes. The crowd on its feet in anticipation of Charlo maybe closing the show. And Montiel appears to be fading and in trouble. This is not decision. You got to knock him out. We're not going to win. Don't worry about knocking this guy out. Everything is good. Shoe shine, and then the left hook upstairs by the champion. Double jab by Charlo. That right hand. Montiel just eats it. It's been a long time since we had a crowd like this. Let them take you through to the end of this fight. You go back and look at this. You're going to know you did great, son. Uh, and still, the undefeated WBC middleweight champion of the world, Jermall Chong. Jermel Charlo went next, and he aimed again at a historic accomplishment, attempting to become the first ever undisputed super welterweight champion in the four belt era. And yet such lofty ambitions are wrapped with greater risk. In this case, an undefeated, heavy-handed Argentine champion in Brian Castaño, who hit back with everything he had. And here comes Castaño. Oh, but Charlo countered him and clipped him in between these shots. And Charlo now unloading on Castaño. Charlo went to that jab to the body. Now Castaño clips Charlo with the left hook. The crowd in San Antonio in Fuego. Oh, that left hook by Castaño. Charlo firing back. Left uppercut. There's the uppercut. But back comes Castaño as we come down the stretch. Championship pedigree, championship heart on display in San Antonio. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a split decision draw. Both fighters retain their titles. There will be no undisputed champion at 154 pounds. The brotherly boxing bonanza continued on August 29th when Jake Paul, known as the problem child, continued his accelerated entry into boxing. And in his first meeting with MMA star Tyron Woodley proved he could withstand a head-rattling punch. Oh, and Paul gets rocked by Woodley. The crowd on its feet. Jake continued to draw an enviable audience of young eyeballs toward the beauty of boxing. There's a right hand by Paul, and what an atmosphere here tonight. The crowd, electric. Oh, good combination by Paul. Yeah, 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 baby. Keep that bump, keep that bump. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> this fight will go to the judges. Ah. Good day, good. good. And still undefeated. After the end of the bubble, plus a summer that all but screamed, watch me, Showtime did not rest on eight months of success. Instead, the march continued, the stakes heightened, as the final sprint toward a year to remember commenced. To realize a histrionic conclusion, the network turned to Canelo Alvarez, 
boxing's reigning pound for pound king. Not only would Canelo make a triumphant return to Showtime against an opponent who didn't mind trading blows the very first time the two champions faced off. You want to see soon? Well, you will see something different. You want to see soon? You want to see? I know. You want to see? 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 And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the bout you've all been waiting for. It's champion versus champion. What a scene here in Sin City. The stage is set for history. The final sprint of 2021 accelerated Showtime's momentum starting with Canelo's latest leap toward boxing immortality. There's a chopping right hand by Canelo. Canelo going to the body here in round one and having some success as we are just getting started. The pride of Mexico attempted to buttress his Hall of Fame resume on November 6th, seeking to claim the first ever undisputed title at 168 pounds. Canelo says this is the most important fight of his life at the end of his career. He wants to be considered one of the all-time greats, period, full stop. While Plant said if it wasn't for boxing, he would be dead or in jail. Undisputed, but he is going to have to try to get past the pressure and the attack of Canelo. Oh, and Plant goes down for the first time in his career. High drop on round 11. Come here. Put your hands up. You want to fight? Yeah. Okay. Canelo secured four belts with a sensational knockout of Caleb Plant. And even in defeat, the former champion showed he possessed the courage to match the magnitude of the stage. Don't be ashamed. You're not a fighter, man. And I'm sorry for everything. At the end of the day, we are men. And we are human. I'm sorry for everything, my friend. Hey, I tell you something. When I said, uh, never talk about you. This is not what happened. Mama, I'm dying. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, five seconds in round number 11. The winner by way of technical knockout. He is now boxing's first ever undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Of all the contenders eyeing a winning ticket in the Canelo lottery sweepstakes, David Benavidez became the first to state his case. Benavidez lighting up Davis here in the sixth. Davis say, bring me more. In a return to his hometown of Phoenix, El Bandera Roja battered and bludgeoned Kyron Davis. A work of heart on display here by Kyron Davis. How is Davis still standing? With an unyielding style and an unblemished record, Benavidez made a persuasive argument with his preferred means of expression, his fists. The towel has been thrown in. David Benavides did what David Benavides does. Stephen Fulton Jr. continued his march up the 122-pound division in late November with a unification match against Brandon Figueroa. Cool boy Steph won a fight of the year candidate by majority decision and claimed a pair of 122-pound belts. You got to give it to Fulton, man. He's fighting Figueroa's fight, standing there toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 
what a show they have put on here. Crash past the 1,000 punches total thrown. He is now the unified WBC and WBO 122 pound champion of the world. Cool boy, Steph Steven Fulton. For Javante Davis, replacing Roly Romero with a dangerous brawler in Issa Cruz led to a difficult fight on December 5th. Cruz landed that right uppercut. Cruz has never been down as a pro. I need you to just pick and go. Pick and go. Hey. Hey. I know I that. Know. We, already we know, know that. We already know Listen. that. Davis fought half of the bout with essentially one hand, while registering only his second career victory in a fight that went the distance. He's become a one-handed fighter, that right hand, but it is delivering dividends, and Cruz unable to take advantage. The crowd at Staples Center enjoying what they've seen. And still, the undefeated WWE World Champion of the World, Javante Davis. In a career that has spanned two decades, Nonito Donaire proved the same notion time and again. He always comes to fight. Here is the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. Now 39, the Filipino Flash took on Raymar Gabalio in December. Donaire sneaks a right hand of the body and then the left hook and a jab upstairs. Gabalio goes down for the first time in his career, courtesy of a body shot. And earned his 42nd career victory. Nonito Donaire, the Renaissance continues. When Tommy Fury pulled out of their scheduled matchup, Jake Paul again turned to Tyron Woodley for a rematch with the former MMA champion. They're throwing twice as many punches as they did in the first fight. What a punch, what a knockout. The spectacle marked a fitting end to a dynamic and unpredictable year. Talk about putting an exclamation point on 2021. In a year as sensational as the one that just unfolded, amid bubbles, returns, beefs, and belts, a year steeped in history and marked by momentum in a sport that's changing more rapidly than before, there were so many incredible fights that some notable bouts fell under the radar. This is the best of the rest. Under yeah. a minute left at the seven, there he goes down for the fourth yeah. time in his career. Brendan Figueroa has just stopped Luis Neri. <laughs> it's over. History has been made. No need to go there. It's champion. Just made one. 
And of course, in a year as monumental as 2021, a boxing institution celebrated its 20th anniversary, a milestone that proved its lasting impact and deep staying power. Showbox, the new generation continued to showcase a full spectrum of prospects. The show's mission? To match the best young boxers in the most competitive fights. There's a right hand drops it. There's a left hand drop stretching. What a round. Beginning in July of 2001, two decades later, Showbox remains the sport's most prominent proving ground where prospects become contenders before contenders can become champions, as was yet again the case in a magical year of boxing. There is your winner, Janelson Figueroa, Boca Chica. And that's a huge that's it, that's right hand, and that's that is it. it. This kid can punch, guys. <laughs> really? Sanchez. Add everything up, and the conclusion is obvious. For Showtime and for boxing, what a year. 25 events held in 13 cities. The stage is set for history. Featuring legends, champions, and prospects, along with new types of fighters all combining to invigorate the sport. Keep going, keep going. From Canelo Alvarez, now boxing's first ever undisputed super middleweight champion. The coronation is complete! To Tank Davis, now a legitimate pay-per-view star. <laughs> to the Charlo brothers, twin titleists who clearly defined their individual legacies the Paul brothers and their impact on a sport that's starting to warm up to their disruption. You did it, bro. Add everything up, but please recognize the significance, the history, the sport's latest boom, one that began in the throes of a global pandemic and reminded the world that resiliency matters and that uncertainty, no matter how vast, can be a good thing, even the best thing, depending on how a champion, any champion, overcomes the obstacles in front of them. I'm Brian Custer. That does it for the best of Showtime Boxing 2021. We'll see you for yet another big year in 2022.